Hello everyone, I am Dr. Divya Sharma, practicing in my center in ACS Layout, Whitefield, Bangalore. And the guiding principles of my practice has been empower the patient, inspire the best, cure the most. Today I will be talking about a procedure which is very basic, easily heard, commonly misunderstood, known as chemical peel. This name is a misnomer because neither we use a chemical nor we actually peel the skin. So if you have complaints of dull, dry skin, lusterless skin, you know, age spots, uh, fine lines, your skin looking uneven or common pigmentation woes, apart from a skin which is prone for acne, the most basic dermatologist read procedure in a clinic is a chemical peel. Now depending upon the aim and goal of the chemical peel, we divide them into very superficial, superficial medium to deep peel. For mostly our Indian and Southeast Asian patients, we restrict ourselves to very superficial chemical peels which practically do not peel anything but just help in exfoliation of the upper layers. So here we have a worthy patient who had a complaint of few pigmentation spots and skin looking uneven and uh, she was feeling her skin is looking dull and dehydrated. So this is one of the most uh, I would say commonly misunderstood, easiest and most economical way of having a fresher, you know, even toned and a brighter skin. So the first step is that we, uh, you know, we cleanse the skin using a gentle pH balanced cleanser. Now depending upon the indication, if it is acne prone skin, we don't mind using a salicylic acid cleanser and as this patient has a dull skin and dry skin, so we are using a mild cleanser. So we apply the chemical peeling agent but chemical peels are best done by an experienced doctor. So we have a lot of myths that you know it can be done easily at home. It is not so. These procedures are safe and are efficiently you know and are done better under the supervision of a qualified dermatologist who tailor needs the peeling agent according to your requirement, your skin type, your previous history. So I am applying this superficial chemical agent which helps in reducing the melanin synthesis. It also would hydrate the patient. We avoid the sensitive areas like area around the eye, the lip angles and around the nose. So you can see there is no aggressive peeling or um, anything that is making the patient uncomfortable. So after stipulated time period, we, uh, we clean the agent using minimum pressure. So this would help in removing the dead skin and giving you a fresh looking skin. Are you comfortable? Relaxed? And there we are. A refreshed, rejuvenated, a brighter looking skin and as you can see there is no possible downtime. There are no major precautions to be taken. Patient is ready to go with a moisturizer and a sunscreen application. We do ask the patient to be very careful in the next coming days. As the skin has been superficially exfoliated, patient needs to use a hydrating moisturizer and a sunscreen. So it's one of the commonest, easiest and effective ways of dealing with not only acne but also common conditions like pigmentation and why not it could also make your day bigger and brighter if you're feeling your skin is looking dull dehydrated or under the weather i think you can always choose a very superficial chemical peel to make your day brighter chemical peels are of various types starting from very superficial to superficial to medium and deep peels they work at different levels of skin we know our skin is a five to six tired structure so this the peels which act in the upper stratum corneum 
are the very superficial peels and as the depth goes from stratum corneum to stratum granulosum to the basal layer the depth of the peel increases apart from common conditions like acne where i call chemical peel as a medicated clean up there are various other indications like pigmentation uneven skin tone a dull skin appearance of fine lines anti aging making sure that your skin is hydrated so if you feel that your skin is patched dry lacking the moisture and the glow a chemical peel is a easy quick solution to resolve your malady so depending upon your indication your type of skin your dermatologist chooses the right peeling agent patients who suffer from rosacea very sensitive skin patients who have a tendency of vitiligo keloidal tendency or any history of herpes in the recent past any history of use of isotretinoin or oral retinoids of any form is a big no no before you opt for this procedure almost every age group above 18 years can opt for this procedure it is completely safe if done under the expert supervision of a qualified and experienced dermatologist now in very superficial to superficial chemical peels the incidence of side effects is very very rare most of the side effects commonly misinterpreted by patients like doctor is it really going to peel my skin or is it going to crust it only when deep peels have significant downtime which we only reservedly do for our caucasian patients for our indian and southeast asian patients the peeling agents are quite mild and it is very very important that your dermatologist does the right kind of priming now priming is just like how you prepare for a marathon Your doctor will put you on some sunscreen and some priming agents which will completely eliminate the risk of any side effect. My dear friends, please do not attempt to do these procedures at home. They're very simple to look at and quite often patients think is something that they can do. Believe me, chemical peels require a proper priming, a proper designing of the uh, peeling agent and a proper post procedure care. it is dangerous if done on your own